In terms of the physical skills, there's a lot of people involved in that. And the physical skills is obviously all very much individually based, as, in, as are all of these programs, to try and establish what, uh, what the emphasis is on a particular individual to enable them to get better at, at all of these things. And they're all, they're all very much related. Like, for instance, the, the role a player plays in the team is obviously very much dictated by what his capacity is to do certain things. So uh, a bloke who's going to stand, uh, you know, stand up at, uh, at full forward or centre half forward has a different requirement than a player who's going to do his you know, 16 or 17 Ks you know, running through the midfield. But there are, and, and so they're very much individually based. So once again, we go through and, and do this sort of measurement on all of these areas, which Joel Hocking uh, looks after looks after that area, but it's very much, you know, guys like Andrew Andrew Daff uh, involved who have you know, been around footy clubs for a long time get a very, very good sense of the uh, of, uh, of what's required from, from that point of view. So it's a medical and, and also conditioning aspect to it. And because most of our most of our players are so young, it's very, very early days, and, and we take uh, take a risk-averse approach to all of this, and you know, hence the decision to rest, uh, you know, Tom Scully and Jack, Jack Trengover you know, a couple of weeks ago, that we have to be very mindful of, of the fact that these guys are going to have long-term careers with it all. But again, we measure it. Um, the personal skills, it's an interesting one how you actually measure it. A lot of it's based on, on the various programs that we actually have. Um, you know, leadership's one of the key elements of it. And we do a lot of 360 degree stuff where the players, the players assess each other as part of it all. But we also do a lot of profiling. And we have a, uh, we have a, a psych who's, who's in, involved in this, Fraser Carson, who's, who does a lot of work in, in, in these areas. And an interesting thing is with the profile, and we now actually get access to the players' profiles through a thing called uh, a taste test, which is actually done at the time we draft them over here. So we can actually make a comparison between their profile now and what their profile um, profile looked like when they were first drafted, and, and that's going to be a very interesting area. But quite clearly, you know, again, with a young group, we've got a, a massive amount of responsibility in regard to this, but we also see this need to uh, to evolve and develop our, our people to achieve all these, all these other things. The final one, and this is very much the domain of the coaches, obviously, and Bales leads this, is is the game skills. And that and that is basically the application of all of these things into a match day scenario. And you can see, you know, there can be players who can be really, you know, tick all the boxes in, in all these areas, but they've still got the most amount of development to do within within the context of the game itself. And uh, and I'd say over time, this is where you'll see the dramatic, you'll see guys get bigger, you'll see guys kick the ball better, you'll, you'll see them improve in terms of how they present and how they evolve. But the real development, you know, is in, is in this area with a with a young group, and that's the great excitement within it all. Because what we try to do in, in within the list the list structure, and there's no there's no more science to this, and uh, I think everyone probably has, has done the exercise. Those who who love their footy club, is we start just picking teams. What does 2011 look like? What does 12, you know, 13, 14, particularly when the you know the window is starting to open up from you know that that point onwards, we just pick teams and, and see. Okay, well, we think the game's going to be played in a certain way. Our game will played in this way. So how do actually, what do we need to do? You know, do we need to make them stronger? Do we need to make them quicker? What do we need to actually do? So it all comes back to how, how in fact we want to play. And from time to time we just have um, players who become conundrums, you know, guys who, you know, for all, you look at them and you get to know who they are and they seem to have all of the attributes but for one reason or another you know, can't put it into a game situation. And, and then you have players who may be lacking in, in any one of these areas who then have the capacity to actually do it. So as, as of next week, we, we sit down and we'll go through each of, the, each, of the, um, each of these areas. So the, 40, the 44 players on the list will all be rated under, under those three things, with those three measurements, how they've performed, how we expected to perform and where the gaps actually were uh, this year. Uh, and we also do a, spend a lot of time on this area here as well. And there's, there's seven KPIs which are measured every week um, by, by match committee. And so what we actually have to do is we have now the opportunity after, after the Queen's birthday game is we'll have 12 lots of information where we buy, we'll be able to really analyse you know, where, where, the, where the issues are, where the trends are. And you know, an example, one of the KPIs is how we actually start. You know, the game starts. And we've had some poor, pretty poor game starts this year, and so that, there's a real focus on that, you know, as, as part of what we actually do. We, and, the, and the, it's actually the first, the first 10 minutes is what we look at. And again, particularly on the weekend, really disappointing you know, from, that, from that point of view. And so we really seek to analyse how and why that's actually happening. So there's two, out, two elements to, uh, to the analysis which actually takes place very much on this. 
how we're going to, how our players are going, where the team performance, you know, as as per our expectations. But then it'll also feed back into what we need to do with our list to come the end of the year. So, so part of it is there's, you know, there there are going to be certain players who will be under scrutiny at this at this time of year simply because of you know how they've played or how they're going and the need for the club to actually, you know, we have to have at least three changes to the list at the, the end of the year and when it comes to drafting or or bringing up rookies. So there's always going to be some players under under scrutiny, and that'll all come out over the next. Uh, over the next uh, week or so, and then we get to monitor their performance for the last part of the year. But we also look at it and say, well, there may be some players who we just need to play in the seniors for at least you know five or six weeks in a row, just to get a bit of a sense of um, of just how they're tracking and uh, and uh, and just where they're at with their careers. What we've got is got a glut of uh, all these young of this young talent, and uh, it can be a tough time for a, for an AFL club when you've got so much tough ta- uh, so much young talent in uh, in and around your group. You don't want to be making uh, Making the wrong calls, you don't want to be making uh, make an early call on a young player, and I think there's you know there's lots of examples in the game of uh, of, uh, of that having having happened. You know, we're uh, that's our biggest challenge, I'd say, is just making sure we've got a really good sense of where where our list's at. So that'll happen over the next week. Um, any uh, any Melbourne supporter out there, they can start doing their own analysis of where it's actually at. Matty Bergen sitting there watching this for the first time. I reckon he'll be doing his own analysis and uh, and uh, just to work out where we're at. The great thing is that it's almost upside in all of these areas, you know, because of just just how young our uh, young how our group is, you know, and that we're looking at guys and and when we do these one to seven scales, there might be guys who'll be ranking three on fours, but we think we can get them up to five, sixes, and sevens. So that's a that's a great part of where we're at. So that's a bit on the footy today. Um, hope uh, hoping for a really big weekend against uh, against the Maggies uh, this weekend, and uh, and I want every uh, Melbourne supporter out there in their demons jumper. Thanks very much.